Uh, we are going to turn now to something that a lot of folks are talking about, particularly in the southeast, uh, and that's something we've covered extensively here today on Live Impact News. That's that fireball that was spotted in the sky across the metro Atlanta area, across really the southeast, as we alluded to. Uh, there have been sightings reported in Georgia, South Carolina, here in North Carolina, Tennessee. And what we're hearing from experts here, uh, this is being characterized as what's called a bolide. So this is large, it's rare, it's a fireball, it creates a sonic boom. And there you're seeing some video. I mean, certainly will catch your eye if you're driving along and you see that falling from the sky. So we're getting a little bit more insight now on exactly what this is. Is this concerning? What do we need to know about a bolide? Uh, AMS, so that's the um, American Meteor Society, uh, operations manager Mike Hankey spoke with our sister station in Atlanta um, about the impacts of this bolide fireball. So let's listen in and let's get a little bit smarter together. So in from Thursday between 1225 and about 1240 across North Georgia, upstate North uh, South Carolina of a fireball or meteor bright streak through the sky and also new reports coming in that we potentially had meteorite fragments that actually entered the roofs of some folks houses down in Henry County. Joining me now to talk about this uh, event that has really been the talk of town over the last hour is Mike Hankey, the operations manager with the American Meteor Society. Mike, thank you for joining me today. Hi, thank you. So what can you tell us about the expansive size and number and frequency of reports that you've been getting in on the fireball log on the American Meteor Society website? Well, uh, I just started working on this maybe 20 minutes ago, so um, I'm putting it all together still. But, you know, we've received over 200 reports um, in like less than two hours of this event. Um, they all came come in like right away. And that did cause some like <clears throat> downtime on our site, but we were still able to collect all the reports and process them and print a, uh, a map um, that shows the witnesses and the trajectory path that's estimated from those reports. Um, so I can send this to you in an email. It's on our website now, but you would want to show this map probably if we're talking about it. Sure. There's a blue a blue line that we 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 you know, compute and I say estimated because we're, we're just taking in the what people are telling us. It's not like um, I mean, it's scientific, but it's it's eyewitness right. report. So there's and an, and can you describe for us where did those po uh, the reports, where do they spread from and to what areas of territory are covered there? They're mostly from it looks to be the east of Atlanta um, and, and around the Atlanta area. A lot of times these can be impacted by weather. So um, a meteorite like this really could have been seen, like we, we have reports from North Carolina, Tennessee, Florida, but there's no, no reports from Alabama, which tells me that there was some type of weather maybe that was obstructing um, some views. But um, yeah, quite a lot of people to the north, south, um, and east of Atlanta have reported this, and it looks that it, it um, occurred just south of Atlanta. And, and for those who see, Mike, for those who see something like this in the sky and, and they wonder what on earth is this, can you describe to us very briefly, what is a fireball? What is a bolide? How do you classify them? And what's that process of it kind of lighting up as it comes into Earth's atmosphere? What are the physics going on there? So every time an object hits uh, Earth's atmosphere, from space, it's going from a vacuum to you know a dense um, you know atmosphere, and that causes friction and it causes this um, you know illumination of, of light that we see in the sky, and that light's usually directly proportional to the you know the speed and the size of the object. So larger objects tend to be brighter um, and so on and last longer in the sky. When an object reaches deep enough in the atmosphere, it creates a sonic boom. We see this with the space shuttle, with SpaceX launches that come back down, and we see them with meteorites, meteorite falls. When a, a, you know an asteroid, a fragment of an asteroid comes through the atmosphere, it survives because it's large enough and the angle was just right on the Earth. Uh, it breaks apart and hundreds of stones fall to the ground. 
If it happens in a populated area, which it sounds like this one did, you're going to potentially get um, rocks hitting houses and, and that kind of thing. And, and those rocks hitting houses, how fast estimated would, would they be traveling? Do they slow down a lot? Um, obviously, they slow down quite a bit in Earth's atmosphere, but if they're creating a sonic boom, they must be moving quickly with a lot of force. They, they are moving very fast, and when they hit Earth's atmosphere, they could be going 50,000 miles per hour or faster, but they quickly decelerate, and by the time they come and, and you know, like they're, they're, they stop all their cosmic velocity at like 20,000 or 30,000 feet up, and by the time they hit your roof, they're going about the speed of a, a golf ball or maybe a little bit faster. So still hundreds of miles an hour, um, but a far cry from the 50,000 miles an hour. Uh, you don't want to get hit by one. It can cause a lot of harm, damages. They'll go through multiple floors of a home oftentimes. Um, but believe it or not, it is a blessing to have your home hit by a meteorite uh, because it's a very rare thing to have happen as long as no one's hurt in the process. That is amazing. And, and like I mentioned at the top of this, we do have a reporter on the way to Henry County where we have had reports from emergency managers there that actually one of those tiny little fragments went so quickly through someone's roof. Is it safe to say, Mike, that the f people who thought that they felt an earthquake or they heard that boom, that that in fact was from this? Are you classifying it as a fireball, a meteor, a meteorite? How are you classifying it? This would be technically considered a bolide because it explodes. And when when a when a meteor comes in, um, you know, uh, it'll just be a normal meteor or a shooting star for like a booted or a Perseid meteor. And then if the next step up is a fireball where it's brighter than the planet Venus up to the full moon. And when we get brighter than that, especially when it explodes in this terminal flash and it's accompanied with the sonic booms and the meteorites, those are called bolides. And that just means that the body broke apart uh, in its flight in. So a bolide, so that that's a, sounds a little bit more rare. How common do we see those in anywhere on Earth on a given year? Do you have any stats on that? I mean, it, uh, the, you know, the um, U.S. government has some statistics uh, on the largest bolides that are one meter or above on their website. And, and even still, there's going to be you know, maybe a dozen or more of those events per year. I would guess this event will uh, end up on that site based on the reports that I'm seeing so far. But uh, fireballs and even meteorites are, are much more common. They actually do fall every week. Um, and, you know, we get um, hundreds of reports like this, uh, or not maybe not exactly like this, of this magnitude, but we get hundreds of fireball reports a year. Um, and there's usually 10 or more meteorites that are recovered every year across the globe. And now considering most of the planet's ocean, um, that means there's a lot more meteorites actually hit. Exactly. And, and Mike, for those who may have seen it or heard the sonic boom, or maybe they had a dash camera or a ring doorbell camera that caught that on camera, where can they send reports to you all? How can they do that so that you can better map out the trajectory of who all saw this bolide? Anyone who saw the meteor or uh, recorded it on a camera can submit that data uh, and the video files through the amsmeteors.org website. Um, that's the American Meteor Society. And we catalog all of those sightings and make them available through our event page. So if you're interested about this event and you want to see where it might have happened or how your view compared to other people's, you can see our map um, there. And let me ask you one more question, Mike. Um, is it possible that this was associated with that, uh, is it called Boothy meteor shower that's going on? Or could there be more larger meteors or bolides to come? Or do you think this is a one-off event by itself? Uh, this is usually, these types of events are usually what we call sporadic, meaning they're just random and they aren't associated with some other known meteor shower. Um, I'm going to stick with that. You know, it's not impossible to have a large fragment of a comet um, also produce a sonic boom. But considering we have reports of rocks on the ground, um, its meteorites are, can't be associated with a cometary meteor shower. They're All always right. associated with an asteroid. Well, Mike Henke with the American Meteor Society, you've been so valuable. I know that, you know, minute by minute, you're getting more reports in. Thank you so much for your time today here. Thank you.